A lot of people were left in despair when the news of the death of Ibidun Iguodalo broke. The ex beautiful queen and wife of famous man of God, Itswa Iguodalo of the Trinity House Church. Ibidun passed away in the early hours of Sunday, June 14, 2020, in the Potaka Hotel from a suspected heart attack at the age of 39, barely a month to her 40th birthday, which is on July 19, 2020. Ibidun Ikudalo is the founder of Ibiduni Ikudalo Foundation, a non-profit organization created to raise awareness on issues about infertility. The foundation also provides grants for couples that require fertility treatment such as in vitro fertilization and in torrine insemination. In preparation of her 40th posthumous birthday, the Ibiduni Igodalo Foundation launched its 40 by 40 initiative which aims at helping 40 couples have children, a project that was inspired by the late Ibiduni Igodalo. Post TV Africa was there to bring you exclusive. The Ibiduni Igodalo Foundation launched its 40 by 40 initiative which aims at helping 40 couples have children. The project was inspired by the founder, late Ibiduni Igodalo. The chairman of the foundation and husband to the late founder spoke on what led to the establishment of the foundation. One morning in the year 2016, she woke me up and said, she was going to start the Ibudini Igodalo Foundation to look after as many women as possible that God would help her to support to have their own children. My wife's desire with this foundation was to ensure she brought happiness and joy to as many as she could. And I said to Ibudini, what would you like for your 40th birthday? She looked at me and said, nothing really for me, but it is my desire that I support 40 couples to have their own children. There are factors to be considered for the selection of the couples that will partake in the program. All applicants are going to apply through the website. Our website is www.ibidini.org. Secondly, all applications must be supported by an official means of identification. Also, we we'll need names and contacts of details of at least two referees who are right standing in the society. Couples must be legally married for five years. And the cutoff age for the female, female spouse is 50. 50 and below, as at the time of application. Infertility is often shrouded in secrecy, and in vitro fertilization, IVF, is one of the viable solutions to help couples. In vitro fertilization and intracytoplasmic sperm injections are or is the latest scientific technique to assist couples get pregnant. Intracytoplasmic injection of the egg becomes necessary when the sperm count of the man is very low. However, the treatment that will be involved that we will uh, provide for the 40 couples will essentially be intrauterine insemination for couples who we feel do not need IVF. And then IVF and ICSI. The funding of the organization and the continuity is a concern the chairman speaks on. One of the reasons for this conference to appeal to well-meaning Nigerians to please come to Macedonia and help us. And we are putting in structures where there's a proper board of directors that has been put in place. We have auditors. We are going to be accountable to the public for every cover we get. We are keeping our records properly. We are going to have compliance. Ibidoni Igodalo might be physically gone, but her legacy might just have a chance to outlive her.